Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about Gaku Plus, the topic that is about application of the refer tools. So now I want to show you how to answer. A port and a radar station are five miles apart on a strange trawl running east and west. A ship leaves the port at noon traveling at a rate of 15 miles per hour. If the ship maintains its speed and cost, what is the rate of change of the tracking angle theta between the shore and the light between the radar station and the ship at 12.30 p.m.? So now I want to show you how to answer. We know that at the noon, that is about 12 p.m. Later that, the ship travel in at 12.30 p.m. So the time from this one to this one, that is about 30 minutes. Or we have 1 over 2 hours. That is about 30 divided by 60 minutes to confirm about hours in here. So the next one we can find about h. So we have h equals to velocity we multiply by time. So velocity of the ship that is about 15 miles per hour. We multiply by the time, that is about 1 over 2. And we have 7.5. So on the next one, they put about 8. That is about the distance between the radar system and the ship. So we have the radar system and the ship. So that is about A in here. So we want to find the value of A. To do this one, we can use the formula that is about the law of cosine. So the formula of this one, that should be like this. So, we know that A, that is about the small A. B, that is about 5 miles. C, that is about 7.54 H in here. Alpha, that is about 45 degrees. So this one we calculate and we have 28.21, uh, 217. And now we put the square root for the both side to find the value of 8. So this one, we have 5.312. So we have the value of 8, that is in here. Now let's go to answer the question. Question 8. Use the law of psi. We want to find the equation related to the angle theta. So we use the formula that is about the law of psi. So that should be about psi 8 
over small a equal to side b over small b and side c over small c so in this situation we have 45 degrees and theta in here so we put 45 degrees go for a b for theta so they should be like this so the opposite side for this angle that is about this one and that is about 8 the opposite of theta that is about h now we put h go to the left side of 45 degrees that is about 1 over the square root of number 2 so the answer we need to write in here now the question number 2 differentiate both sides to create this one so before we do this white we need to use about inverse trigonometry so the inverse of this one that is about theta equals to arc side of s over a with the square root of number 2 so if we do first derivative for the both side and we got the theta over dt equals to so we have the formula to find this one So if we do first derivative of arc side, we will have about first derivative of 8 over the square root of 1 minus 8 to the power of 2. So if we apply this one, we will have like this. So I will put h over a with the square root of number 2 with the power number 2 going here. And then we do first derivative of h over a with the square root of number 2 in here. So in this situation, I will put the square root of number 2 go outside because this is about the numbers. So we do first derivative of h multiplied by 1 over 8. Later that, we need to do first derivative of 1 over 8 multiply by h so this one we will have about number one the h over the t the 
this one we have negative 1 over a square d8 over dt now we need to multiply by the square root of number 2 a square on numerator and denominator So, the square root of number 2, I swear, simplify the square root of number 2 and 8. So, this one you got about 8 dh over dt. This one multiplied by this one in here, we just have only negative h d8 over dt. So, this one, we can put about the square root of number 2 and the, and 8 go inside. And that is about 8 go outside here. So, we have 2 a square multiplied by 1 minus h square over 2 a square. This one, we multiply each order in here, and you can get 2a square minus h square. But we know that this is for the positive. Now, on the machine, you remember that there is the negative sign in here. How can they get that? So we return back to this one. So we know that side 8 equals to B. We will have the formula 8 equals to arc side of B. And we have K to B. So, k belong to integers, and the second one, 8 equals to b minus 2 arc side of b plus k to b. So, they will select the second one in here. That means on the first one, we just select this one. If we select the second one, we will have theta equal to b minus 2 arc side of h over a with the square root of number 2. If we do first derivative for the both side for this one, we will get the negative side in here. So, we need to draw the answer like this. After we have the formula, we can find about d theta over dt. We know that dh over dt that is about velocity of the ship so and that's about 15 now we need to find d8 
over dt. So on the graph, we can see that we have 8, we have h, and we have 5 miles in here. So in this one, we use about law of cosine again. And now we use about a square equals to h square plus phi square minus number 2 multiplied by phi h and cosine 45 degrees. Now we have the formula in here. So the next one we need to do first derivative for the both side. This one we have to a. This one we have to h. This one that is about the constant. So you got number zero. This one number two, number five, cosine forty five degrees. And we have number 5 with the square root of number 2, dh over dt. Now we divide both sides by 2a. So we know that the edge over the t that's is about 15. Edge that is about 7.5. A that is about 5.312. So we input the value cone here and we have. 11.195 so we have this number cone here so we have 8 that is about 5.312 Similar this one. H we have 7.5. A we have 5.312. H we have 7.5. So we calculate this one and we have 1.879 for 7. 0, 7. We can draw the number in here. Because the question they asked for decimal places. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.